Shall I start, Marsh? Why not? Please. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Om Vishnu Bhad, Purnamam Supari Praja Kacharja Shto, Tanusachvi Shrimad, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Shami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai, Ananta Koti Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai, Nama charges Sri the Hridas talk work day. Prems go Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Rindaki day. Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopinath Sham Kundradha Kunki Gurutan ki day. Rindavan Tam ki day. Nabadeep Tam ki day. Jagannat Puri ki day. Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Jamana Mai Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, 
Samaveta Bhakta Brindaki Jai. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. Go Premanande Hari Hari Bo. Hari Hari Bo. Thank you, Maharaj. Welcome everyone to Chaitanya Charitamrita class with His Holiness Jayadweta Swami. Today is April 6th, 2023. And Maharaj is still in London, correct? Oh, yes, that's correct. We are reading tonight in the third canto, 15th chapter. I'm sorry, looking at the Srimad uh, Bhagavatam. We're in Adi Lila, chapter 5, text 76. As always, we're eager to hear everyone's comments and questions. So please use the raise hand feature or unmute yourself and speak when Maharaj asks for questions. Or you can type your comments into the chat window. And we ask that you not send any chat messages if Maharaj is reading something there because it makes it difficult to read. At the, end, at the end of the class, I will post some helpful links that you can share with your friends so that they can attend as well. We're glad that you can join us, Maharaj, from London. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. And thank you to all. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Karbodakshira, Karbodakshira, sorry. Karbodakshira ta shai dohe purushnam shai dvi jar angsha vishnu vishpadam. Garbhodakshai, Garbhodashai and Kshirdakshai, <laughs> Garbhodashai and Kshirdashai are both called Purushas. They are plenary portions of Karnodashai, Vishnu, the first Purusha, who is the abode of all the universes. Report. The symptoms of the Purusha are described in the Laghu Bhagavatamrita. Laghu Bhagavatamrita. While describing the incarnations of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the author has quoted from the Vishnu Purana 6859, where it is said, Let me offer my respectful obeisances unto Purushottam, Lord Krishna, who is always free from the contamination of the six material dualities whose plenary expansion, Mahavishnu, glances over matter to create the cosmic manifestation, who expands himself in various transcendental forms, all of which are one and the same, who is the master of all living entities, who is always free and liberated from the contamination of material energy, and who, when he appears in this material world, seems one of us, although he has an eternally spiritual, blissful, transcendental form. In summarizing this statement, Rupa Goswami has concluded that the plenary expansion of the Supreme Personality of Godhead who acts in cooperation with the material energy is called the Purusha. Om Akhyana Timirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Shakshun Militam Jaina Dasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhistam Stapitam Jaina Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kada Mayam Tadhati Shapadhantikam Pande Hang Shri Gugo Shri Jatapadakamalang Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Shagrajatam Sahagana Raganatan Vitamstam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Pradijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanda Devam 
Shri Radha Krishna Padan, Shahagana Lolita, Sri Vishakhan Vitamstra. He Krishna Kuruna Sindho, Deen of Hunto Jagatpate, Go Pesha Gopika Kanta, Radha Kanta Namostute, Dapta Kanshana Gaurangi, Radhe Brindavaneshari, Rishabhanu Sute Devi, Pranamami Puri Priye, Pancha Kopatarubhyasya Kapa Sintho Pye Vicha, Patita Nam Pavane Pyo, Vaishnavay Namo Namaha, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Adwaita Vadadhar, Sri Vashadi Gaur Bhakta Rinna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Dama, Hare Dama, Rama Dama, Hare Hare. In this section, again, Kaviraj Goswami is glorifying Lord Nityananda Prabhu by explaining his glories in the form of Lord Balaram, the original source of all incarnations. And here, Kaviraj Goswami is out outlining the Lord's position as the source of the Kusha avatars. Reviewing this section, I was um, a thought that occurred to me is that we're quite familiar with these things, that there are three Purusha avatars, um, Karna Dakshai Vishnu, Garva Dakshai Vishnu, Kshira Dakshai Vishnu. Um, they're all expansions of Balaram. This is quite well known to most ISKCON devotees. And I would think that much of the credit belongs to Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, because he's taken this and many other conclusive truths of Gaudiya Vaishnav understanding and codified them in his Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, along with evidence from various scriptures. These same truths may, be, may have been presented by the Sikh Goswamis, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, and so on. But we especially receive them in the form of uh, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, where so many truths of Lord Chaitanya's teachings have been gathered and explained. So here, the Purush avatars, those, the avatars concerned with the material creation, its birth or yeah, its, its appearance and its uh, the creation, the maintenance of the cosmic manifestation is done by the Purush avatars. And let's read on. Vishnos tu trini rupani, Guru shakyan yatovitu, Ekam tu mahata shrestra, Viti ham pandad sangstitam, Viti ham sarvaputas tam, Tani gatva vimuchite. Vishnu has three forms called Purushas. The first, Mahavishnu, is the creator of the total material energy, Mahat. The second is Garbhodashai, who is situated within each universe. And the third is Kshirodashai, 
who lives in the heart of every living being. He who knows these three becomes liberated from the clutches of Maya. Purport this verse appears in the Laghu Bhagavatamrita, Urva 2.9, where it has been quoted from the Sattva Tantra. Yadyapi kohiye tare Krishna kala kori matshakur madhya vatare tiho abhatari. Although Karna that Karano Vaishai Vishnu is called a Kala of Lord Krishna. He is the source of Matsya, Urma, and the other incarnations. Ete Chamsa Kala Pumsa Krishna Stu Bhagavan Swayam. Indrari Vyakulam Lokam Murdianti Yuge Yuge. All these incarnations of Godhead are either plenary portions or parts of the plenary portions of the Purusha avatars. But Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead himself. In every age, he protects the world through his different features when the world is disturbed by the enemies of Indra. This quotation is from Srimad Bhagavatam, First Canto, Chapter 3, Text 28. The list of avatars is given in that chapter, and Krishna is distinguished from the others by this verse. She Purush Shishtisthiti Kralayer Karta Nana Bhattara Kare Jagatera Bharta. That Purusha Karnadakshai Vishnu is the performer of creation, maintenance, and destruction. He manifests himself in many incarnations, for he is the maintainer of the world. Srishtyadi nimitte he angshir abadhan she te angshire kohi abadharanam. That fragment of the Supreme Lord, known as the Mahapurusha, appears for the purpose of creation, maintenance, and annihilation is and is called an incarnation. Ajavatara Mahapurush Ajavatar Mahapurush Bhagavan Sarva Avatar Bij Sarva Shwai Tam. That Mahapurush is identical with the personality of Godhead. He is the original incarnation, the seed of all others, and the shelter of everything. Adyovatara Purusha Parasya Kala Subhava Sarasan Manascha Dravyam Vikaro Guna Indriyani the Purush Mahavishnu is the primary incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Time, nature, Prakriti as cause and effect, the mind, the material elements, false ego, the modes of nature the senses, the universal form, complete independence, and the moving and non-moving beings appear subsequently as his opulences. Report. 
describing the incarnations and their symptoms. The Laghu Bhagavatamrita has stated that when Lord Krishna descends to conduct the creative affairs of the material manifestation, he is an avatar or incarnation. The two categories of avatars are empowered devotees and Torekatma Rupa, the Lord himself. An example of Torekatma Rupa is Shesha, and an example of a devotee is Vasudev, the father of Lord Krishna. Srila Baladev Bhushan has commented that the material cosmic manifestation is a partial kingdom of God, where God must sometimes come to execute a specific function. The plenary portion of the Lord through whom Lord Krishna executes such actions is called Mahavishnu, who is the primal beginning of all incarnations. Inexperienced observers presume that the material energy provides both the cause and the elements of the cosmic manifestation, and that the living entities are the enjoyers of material nature. But the devotees of the Bhagavata school, which has scrutinizingly examined the entire situation, can understand that material nature can independently be neither the supplier of the material elements nor the cause of the material manifestation. Material nature gets the power to supply the material elements from the glance of the Supreme Purusha, Mahavishnu. And when empowered by him, she is called the cause of the material manifestation. Both features of material nature as the cause of the material creation and as the source of its elements exist due to the glance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The various expansions of the Supreme Lord who act to empower the material energy are known as plenary expansions or incarnations. As illustrated by the example of many flames lit from one flame, all these plenary expansions and incarnations are as good as Vishnu himself. Nevertheless, because of their activities in controlling Maya, sometimes they are known as Mayak or having a relationship with Maya. This is a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 2.6.42. So first, we have this understanding that the Supreme Personality of Godhead expands himself. This understanding is not read, readily available in many other theological approaches. There's God and God says, let there be light, or in some other way, he creates things. But here we have this elaborate understanding that one of the powers of God is the power to appear simultaneously in various uh, distinct yet integrated forms. The Parcharya Vahidishantaram Abhupecha, the Payate Vivitahe to Samana Tarma, Yastadrage Vahijavishnu Teya Pibhati, Govindamadi Purusham Tamahan Pajami, distinct yet identical forms, as one candle appears as many. So the my, uh, so the Supreme Lord appears in various forms. All the forms are non-different, and yet one is 
the original Krishna Sutra Bhagavan and Swayam. So Prabhupada calls these forms expansions, uh, expansions of the Lord. And the, the Purusha avatars are the expansions that take charge of creation, maintenance, and destruction of the material world. Because their business is the material energy, they're sometimes called mayak. But that doesn't mean that they're under the control of Maya. It means that they're taking charge of Maya. The truly probably reiterates the point which we've discussed earlier that the this energy Maya has two features: the feature of supplying ingredients for the creation and the feature of making things happen in the you know, creation. So, material nature can't carry out these functions independently. Material nature can't um, work without the touch of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. All right, let's see if there's some comments or questions so far. Uh, I see. There is, there are. Indra, in the purport to text 76, Prabhupada quotes the Vishnu Purana. When he appears in this material world, he seems one of us, although he has an eternally spiritual, blissful, transcendental form. In case you care to address it, this statement reminds me that I wonder at Krishna's appearance in the material world. It says here, he seems one of us. Yet we typically see him depicted with an effulgence, which not everyone has. His choosing to appear in disguise, as it were, in a proportionate size is amazing, especially if it's really possible to miss Godhood entirely. I wonder if I would be able to recognize it it would be really sad to not recognize him at all. In the Bhagavatam, it said, Gudha He appears along with Lord Balaram. The word used, I think, the Prabhupada uses is masked. Gudha Yeah, secretly or in disguise of performing transcendental activities. We read in the Bhagavatam that when Krishna appeared uh, like a human being, Manusha, the different people saw him differently. So you, you mentioned the, the effulgence which we see in, in the paintings. But Kamsa apparently couldn't see it. He thought that Krishna was an ordinary human being, maybe powerful human being, but he couldn't see that Krishna was the supreme personality of Godhead. Even Duryodhana, when Krishna showed a universal form, still had been thinking that Krishna was a, an, an ordinary human being or maybe an extraordinary human being, maybe a tricky human being, maybe a human being with some mystic powers. But he couldn't see that Krishna was the supreme personality of Godhead. The, <clears throat> and the Brajbasis also couldn't see that Krishna was the supreme personality of Godhead. But that was for a different reason. 
that was because of their their love for Krishna. They for them he's their their friend, their lover, their child, not Bhagavan, the supreme personality of Godhead. So this uh, this scene of Krishna is performed or enacted or accomplished differently by different people according to their their relationship with him yayatamam prapadyante palms to tie pajamyam if they want to see krishna as an ordinary human being then krishna reciprocates yes that's exactly what i am and for those who want to see krishna in a loving relationship krishna reciprocates Yeah. All right. This is so yeah. I think that I have comments to Kendra Prabhu's points. So now we have Sarsh we have a hand from Tulsi Priya and we have Sarshadi. I'll take Sarshadi's first. We know that each incarnation of Krishna rules over their personal planet, and Balaram is the first expansion of Krishna. So does he rule over his personal spiritual planet? Um, as far as I know, he does not rule over his personal spiritual planet. As Sankarshan, he does. But as Balaram, uh, he and Krishna appear together in Goloka Vrindavan. Also, <clears throat> is the order of expansions as follows. Balaram, Mahasankarshan, Mahavishnu, Karna Dakshai, Garbha Dakshai, Kshir Dakshai. Now, there's a yes, but there's some further details. We we get the expansions of Mahasankarshan and then Vasudev, Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradumna, Niruddha. So we, we get a second Sankarshan and so on. And to tell you the truth, I get lost in all the expansions. There's so many, but your your uh, order is, is is seems correct as far as it goes. No. Yes, no, Tulsi Priya. Thank you, Maharaj. I was just thinking uh, when you were talking about those who are unable to recognize Krishna. There's also the example of. Um, I think Jiva Goswami, Rupa Goswami, they had encounters with Krishna or Radharani and they didn't recognize them at first. And I'm thinking if we don't, if they didn't recognize them at first, what hope, what hope uh, would I ever have? But I guess it's Krishna's arrangement. He likes to, you know, kind of play a joke on them or or not, not blow, bowl them over with his presence. You know, he wants to just have an intimate dealing with them as a little boy or a little girl. Yes, <laughs> this is Krishna's kindness. Something else? Okay, let me just see one thing. Okay. Nagrahe Paurusham Rupam Bhagavan Maharadi Bhi Samputam Shodashakalam Adhau Loka Sushrikshaya In the beginning of the creation, the Lord expanded himself in the form of the Purusha incarnation, accompanied by all the ingredients of material creation. 
first he created the 16 principal elements, 16 principal energies suitable for creation. This was for the purpose of manifesting the material universes. Purport. This is a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 131. The commentary of Madhva on Srimad Bhagavatam mentions that the following 16 spiritual energies are present in the spiritual world. One, Sri, two, <laughs> I'm just going to read them without the numbers. It makes it easier. Shri, Bhu, Lila, Kanti, Kirti, Tushti, Gir, Pushti, Satya, Gyanangyana, Jaya, Utkarshani, Bhimala, Yogamaya, Pravhi, Ishana, and Anubraha. In his commentary on his Lagu Bhagavatamrita, Sri Baladev Bidyabhushan has said that the above energies are also known by nine names, Vimala, Utkarshani, Jnana, Kriya, Yoga, Ravi, Satya, Ishana, and Anugraha. In the Bhagavat Sandarbha, of Srila Jiva Goswami, text 117, they are described as Sri Pushti Gir Kanti Girti Tushti Ila Jaya Vidya Vidya Maya Samvit Sandani Ladini Bhakti Murti Vimala Yoga Pravi Ishana Anugraha etc. All these energies act in different spheres of the Lord's supremacy. Well, Shodasha, the Lord has 16 energies. In the verse as translated by Srila Prabhupada, we hear that these are in relation to the material creation. Uh, although in the purport, we hear that these are that there are 16 spiritual energies and they're enumerated in various ways as 16, as nine, and so on. The, in South India, we find the Lord often represented with Sri uh, O Nila, principal energies of the Lord. And here the energies are enumerated further. The Sarsati says that she too gets lost about the order of the mm -hmm. expansions of the Lord. The incarnations have their own names, but is Krishna's name supreme? Yes, Krishna stu Bhagavan Swayam. Abhindavtuan Namanamino. There's no difference between the Lord and his name, and of all the forms of the Lord, Krishna is distinct because Krishna is the original. So the Krishna just Krishna is the original person, his name is the original name, and so on. And yet all the names are identical to Krishna's names. Yet Krishna is the original, and we hear elsewhere the three names of thousand names of Vishnu equal one name of Lord Ram, and three names of Ram equal one of Krishna. Okay. Anything else so far? Okay, I think I'll open the door because. Um, I have lots of nice heat in this room, and it will put me to sleep unless I have some air to breathe.
yajapi sarvashroi tiho tahate tahate sangsar antaratma rupe tiho jagat antar. Although the Lord is the shelter of everything, and although all the universes rest in Him, He, as the super soul, is also the support of everything. Prakriti sahite tar ubhoy sampanta tatapi prakriti shaha nahi sparshaganda. <clears throat> Although he is thus connected with the material energy in two ways, he does not have the slightest contact with it. Purport. In the, in the Laghu Bhagavatamrita, Sri Rupa Goswami, commenting upon the Lord's transcendental position beyond the material qualities, says that Vishnu, as the controller and superintendent of material nature, has a connection with the material qualities. That connection is called yoga. However, the person who directs a prison is not also a prisoner. Similarly, although the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, directs or supervises the qualitative nature. He has no connection with the material modes of nature. The expansions of Lord Vishnu always retain their supremacy. They are never connected with the material qualities. One may argue that Mahavishnu cannot have any connection with the material qualities, because if he were so connected, Srimad Bhagavatam wouldn't state that material nature, ashamed of her thankless task of acting to induce the living entities to become averse to the Supreme Lord, remains behind the Lord in shyness. In answer to this argument, it may be said that the word guna means regulation. Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, and Lord Shiva are situated within this universe as the directors of the three modes, and their connection with the modes is known as yoga. This does not indicate, however, that these personalities are bound by the qualities of nature. Lord Vishnu specifically is always the controller of the of the three qualities, there's no question of his coming under their control. The, in the Bhagavad Gita, well, again, we're pursuing this, this issue that the Mahavishnu or the, all the Vishnus are in touch with material nature and yet they're unaffected by material nature. Maya tatamidam sarvam jaganavyaktam rutina vatsthani sarvabhutani vatsthani sarvabhutani nate my goodness nachaham teshvavastita nachaham tell me again Nachaham Teshwavastitam. Nachaham Teshwavastitam. Thank you. Nachaham Matstani Bhutani Hashame Yoga Maishram. Bhuta Brin Nacha Bhuta Stova Matma Bhuta Bhavana. Ta Kashos Nityam. Vayu Sarvatra Go Mahan. Ta Sarvani Bhutani Matstani Tupatavi. The Lord is connected with material nature and yet aloof from material nature. The, he pervades the material nature and yet he's uh, distant from material nature. Yata uh, Kasha Nichin, the example given is that within space, 
the wind is blowing or within the sky the wind is blowing but space from the sky is unaffected by the blowing of the wind so the lord is connected to the material nature and yet not connected certainly not affected even the devotees who serve the lord are ultimately unaffected by material nature then what to speak of the lord although the causal and element supplying features exist in material nature by dint of the glance of the supreme personality of godhead the lord is never affected by glancing over the material qualities by the will of the supreme lord the different qualitative changes in the material world take place but there's no possibility of material affection change or contamination for lord vishnu yes yes Tulsi Priya. Maharaj, when we hear about lord brahma becoming angry such as when he became angry at the kumaras or when lord shiva became angry after sati immolated herself is this not um their anger is not a symptom of their being affected by the modes i i would say not lord shiva maybe definitely but what about brahma he's are we we don't understand that he's never affected by the modes or well we hear about him having lustful feelings so i'm a little bit confused as to what it means to not be by controlled and yet exhibit a symptom that makes it seem like you're being controlled mm. one understanding of course one understanding is that well yes there lord brahma is in charge of the modes of nature um, specifically the mode of passion so he's sometimes affected by passion lord shiva's in charge of the mode of ignorance so he's sometimes affected by the mode of ignorance we see this in the past time um, concerning brigu muni testing the three deities uh, he sees that Brahma and Shiva are sometimes affected, but Vishnu is uh, unaffected. That underscores the point here about Lord, Lord Vishnu, that uh, even when he, one would have thought he'd be affected, affected, he was undisturbed, even by the greatest insult. Another way of looking at Brahma being affected or Lord Shiva being affected is that these are workings of Krishna's spiritual energy. When the devotee seems to be affected by material nature, it's actually Krishna acting. We were just reading a purport by Shri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur concerning this. And he was saying, in essence, that uh, just what I said that Krishna, the devotees are really under the control not of material nature but of Krishna, in both in regard to their happiness and their distress. When it appears that there's happiness, uh, you know, because the devotee is supposed to be above duality, suke duke same kritva, um, but Vishnu says when or or Baladev who whichever one we were reading, was saying that when there's distress, when there's happiness, it's just a byproduct of bhakti. It's just a byproduct of bhakti. And when there's distress, it's Krishna's kindness to the devotee. Yes, yaham nugranami hrdeshe tantanokshanai. It appears that he's being overwhelmed by the modes of nature, but actually he's being granted a benediction by the personality of Godhead. So it appears to be the action of material nature upon the devotee can actually be 
an effect of the Lord's mercy and the mercy of devotional service. The commentator does say though, though that when there's distress for a devotee, it may also be gone, be uh, on account of Vaishnava operas. That's just two questions. Uh, and there's an something more up here. Let's see. Sarsuti says, if Brahma is usually a Jiva, what tattva is Shiva? Because he isn't a Vishnu tattva, and the name Shiva is not a position, like Brahma, Indra, etc. And Tulsi Priya says, as far as I know, he's his own tattva. Yes, um, that's the actual position. Mm. Shiram Yata Vikara Visheshi Yoga. The Shiva is neither in Vishnu's position nor in a position, nor in the position of the living entities. He has his own unique situation. No living entity, a pious living entity after a hundred births can become Lord Brahma. No. <clears throat> no living entity can become Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is, um, is a, a, a separate category. Neither, neither Jiva nor Vishnu. <laughs> okay, we can read a little bit more. Etad ishanam ishasya prakritis to pitad gunaihi. The yujate saratma stire. Eta buddhis tadashriya. This is the opulence of the Lord. Although situated within the material nature, he is never affected by the modes of nature. Similarly, those who have surrendered to him and have fixed their intelligence upon him are not influenced by the modes of nature. Report, this is a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 111.38. E mata gita he gita teha puna puna kwai Garbada Ishar Tatwa Ochintya Shakti Hoy. Thus, the Bhagavad Gita also states again and again that the absolute truth always possesses inconceivable power. Amita Jagate Boshi Jagat Amate Na Ami Jagate Boshi Na Ama Jagate. What Krishna said I am situated in the material world and the world rests in me. But at the same time, I'm not situated in the material world, nor does it rest in me in truth. Report. Nothing in existence is possible unless energized by the will of the Lord. The entire manifested creation is, is therefore resting on the energy of the Lord. But one should not therefore presume that the material manifestation is identical with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Cloud may rest in the sky, but that does not mean that the sky and the cloud are one and the same. Similarly, the qualitative material nature and its products are never identical with the Supreme Lord. The tendency to lord it over material nature or Maya cannot be a feature of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. 
when he descends to the material world, he maintains his transcendental nature unaffected by the material qualities. In both the spiritual and material worlds, he is always the controller of all energies. The uncontaminated spiritual nature always exists within him. The Lord appears and disappears in this material world in different features for his pastimes, yet he is the origin of all cosmic manifestations. The material manifestation cannot exist separate from the Supreme Lord, yet Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, in spite of his connection with material nature, cannot be subordinate to, to nature's influence. His original form of eternal bliss and knowledge is never subordinate to the three qualities of material nature. This is a specific feature of the Supreme Lord's inconceivable cease. All right. We're, anything here? Otherwise, we're just about at the end of our hour. Okay. Kirtan, who's leading Kirtan? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, <coughs> Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, 
Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Om Mishnu Bhad Paramahal Supadi Prad Rikacharja. Ashtotar Siddhashi Shimad. A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Shami Maharaj Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai Nama Charja Shida Haridash Thakur Ki Jai Prem Sakaho Shri Krishna Jaitana Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Shri Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gopinath Sham Kun Radha Kun Giri Govardhan Ki Jai, Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Namadeep Dham Ki Jai, Jagannath Puri Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Jamana Mai Ki Jai, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Samaveta Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees, all glories to the assembled devotees. Gold from Monday, Hari Hari Thank you, Krishna Kunti and Prabhu. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Please share the class links in the chat box with your friends. And tomorrow, I hope we can all see each other again for Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam class with Maharaj. Maharaj, thank you so much for giving us your valuable association at this ungodly hour for you. Godly, you godly, it's, sorry, you it's a godly hour. <laughs> That's true, it is godly. Itanya Tari Tamrita class, ki jai. Shula Prabhupada, ki jai. Jai Dwayna Maharaj, ki jai. Samaveta Bhakta Vrinda, ki jai. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Gopraj.